How to create ENS subdomains. Go to ens.domains, go to app. Wallet was already connected, but if you had disconnected, reconnect your wallet. My account will be brought to this page, which shows all of your ENS domains. Then you'll click on the name you want to make a subdomain for. For this tutorial, I'll be using genfteach.eth, so I click here. It'll be brought to this page, click subdomains. I have two set up already, so if this is your first time, don't worry if you don't see anything under the add subdomain button. Click add subdomain. Type whatever you want your subdomain to be. I'm using burner for the sake of this tutorial. As long as you haven't already created a subdomain with that name, you'll get a little green check. Hit save. This will trigger your wallet. Make sure the transaction is coming from apps.ens.domains. Set subnode record. This was the ETH cost with GUI at 16. Confirm. Once the transaction confirms, it will be added to this list. Click on your subdomain. Click add slash edit record. You can set as many different types of records as you would like. For now, I'm just doing an ETH address, so paste in the address that you want this subdomain to point to. Again, you can set multiple records, so fill in as many as you want. Confirm. Get this pop-up. Confirm. Once again, this will trigger your wallet. Make sure the transaction is coming from app.ens.domains. Set address. Way was still around 16. Confirm. When the transaction confirms, your address is now set and should appear blue on your list of subdomains. You do have the option to change the controller for the ENS subdomain that you've just set up. However, I'm not going to do that on this tutorial. Leaving the controller as a warm wallet and then setting up an ENS subdomain is a great use case for truly cold storage. Now that you've set up your subdomain, you can always double check it by going to etherscan.io, typing in your subdomain, click to search. As you can see, the resolved address is the one that I just said. As always, let me know if you have any questions.